Hi everyone, my name's Liz Pichon. I am the author and illustrator of um, a series of books about a character called Tom Gates, as if you haven't already guessed, being surrounded by it. So I've chosen to do this filming on what is literally the hottest day of the year. Um, and I was doing something this morning, I thought, perfect, I'll do some filming. So if I'm sweating a bit, it's because it is really hot in my studio today and I've covered up all my mess with these nice boards there. So um, the fabulous Cressida Cow, our wonderful laureate, who incidentally is just doing the best job in the world, um, has asked me to talk to you about a bit of process, about how I work, about um, sketchbooks and how I start things off creatively, how I start making the books. Um, we did an event together a while ago and I brought a few bits and pieces and it's always fascinating to see how other people work. But I think it's really important to remember as well that this is just how I do things and how you do things might be slightly different and not to worry about it. But I think one of the biggest things to do is, um, for me personally, is I forget things a lot. So I wanted to show you, I have a pencil case here. This is like my old school pencil case. And I think I showed it to the kids when I did an event with Cressida. And I've got a little letter and I kept a few bits and pieces and quite often, I will remember things from my childhood and I'll put them in the books. So I wrote a little letter, God, typical. Oh, here it is, there we go. So here we are, this is a little letter. So I went on a school journey and um, we all had to write home to our parents and you know, we'd already got the, the stamped addressed envelopes beforehand. Um, and I thought it was quite funny that I'm sweating. God. So <laughs> it's just so hot in here today. Um, here we go. So I'd written this, dear, dear mum and dad and Angela and the cat, so far so good. The place is lovely and the weather is also nice and sunny. 10 girls and I have volunteered to be moved to a small bedroom of our own, much more fun. Every morning we get woken up by all sorts of twittering birds. They sometimes come through the window and have a look round. Last night we had a disco and all the teachers had a better time than we did. <laughs> that sounds like something that Tom Gates would write. On the first day here, we went on a 12 mile walk, six there and six back, to a hill just to admire the view. We all had a good laugh at the gear, Mr. Fullerton. I'd forgotten that my um, teacher in secondary school was called Mr. Fullerton. So I'd obviously logged that in the back of my ha head. And so obviously Tom Gates' teacher is Mr. Fullerton. Um, he looked a right twit. <laughs> Nice, hey? And look, I've actually drawn a picture of Mr. Fullerton there. So I've drawn a picture of him with the gear on and labelled it purple jumper, green Eric Morecambe trousers, socks badge, uh, they stop here, black shiny, but so. So I just thought it's interesting to see that, um, you know, things that I've done from my childhood and things that I was doing, you know, I've, I've taken those ideas and I've put them in the Tom Gates books. So I would never have remembered that. So one of my tips to you for um, writing stories and things is just like always write things down and keep things. And if you see something that is interesting to you, you know, take a picture of it, um, stick things in scrapbooks. I used to make scrapbooks all the time. And I've shown this a few times. Um, this is an exercise book. And this is what I wrote the very first Tom Gates in, you can see. So, you know, you don't have to, I've just written it in pencil and I just imagined that Tom was writing in his own exercise book um, and that's where the ideas came on, that he was doodling in his book and his teacher, Mr Fullerton, not Fullerton, um, was writing um, little notes to him in there. So there you go. So that's the very first exercise book and that's how I kind of started off making the Tom Gates books and I thought I'd show you as well. There you go. <clears throat> how I kind of plot ideas out. So don't be alarmed by this because it looks a lot more complicated than it really is. But I like to do like little flow charts. So I do like little individual um, ideas and then make, I might put a little picture in it there and just flow. And this is the one I did for What Monster. Um, so it, like, it looks quite complicated, but actually they're just like little individual ideas. So I might jot something down. If I read that there, it says, um, Oakfield School Play. It's this year, Jack and the Giant Beanstalk with friends. Mrs. Wellington wanted everyone to have a part. Even the beanstalk is being played by kids. I don't know how. So then I've drawn a little picture of Marcus there, you can see, wearing a beanstalk. And not every idea that I do, 
actually makes it into the book. You know, sometimes you have too many. Um, but I usually do something like that for all the books. Like this one is a little section of family, friends and fairy creatures. And it's really useful when I do that because it's kind of working out what the story is going to be. And when I'm actually writing the book, I can refer back to this. So I've got a picture there of Rooster wearing different hats, different hairstyles. Um, family tree, there's a fairy creature. My family as trees, obviously. Um, other headings for this project, top tips, hobbies, random facts, best doodles. So it's just a way for me to get my ideas like, out of my head and onto a piece of paper. Um, what else can I show you? So, yeah, so Tom Gates has kind of changed a lot from when, he, when I first started drawing him. Um, it starts off, let's just see, I've got some really original drawings here. Um, yeah, so that's the other thing I did was I had a little book like this and I just did some ideas for different characters and I had an idea that Mr. Keen was going to have very hairy eyebrows like caterpillars and that's the red meter so that's how angry he gets. That's the headmaster, Mr. Fullerman there. Mr. Fullerman uh, has superhuman hearing. He can hear sweets being opened anywhere in the whole school. I suspect he is really a robot. Um, Tom's classmate, so that was originally what Norman looked like. Um, Leroy Lewis, Marcus being annoying, Solomon. And I drew out his whole class there, what I thought all his classmates were, just so I could remember them. And, and I haven't written about all of them, but I'm probably going to change that at some point. And write different stories about different characters, which would be good. Um, that was Tom's school that I did a drawing of. And Derek Fingal there. So that would be my tip for you. It, really, really important. So the importance of sort of drawing and sketchbooks and getting your ideas out of your head and onto a piece of paper. Because then you can, you know... A, remember them and adapt them and maybe you know something that you might not think fits into a story might fit into something else so don't be frightened about making mistakes as well like I just used to draw these little bugs and things like this I'll draw a bug for you and they feature quite a lot in the books and I don't know why and the monsters as well there's a little and I mean it doesn't really make any sense if you think about it you know let's have him reading a, having these funny bugs. But I just sort of thought it's kind of thing that Tom would draw himself. Um, and I also make things as well and stick them in the book. There we are. He's reading the book there. That's a little bug. And these funny little monsters as well, which you can see, they appear everywhere. Like that. Do a little bit. Uh, I have to admit, every time I know that a lot of the readers I have are really keen on drawing and doodling. And you quite often send me pictures of your monsters and create it. And they're, they, they're a lot more imaginative than the ones that I do, I think. There we go. There's a little monster in the bug. Um, so there you go. So those are my little tips for you. Um, keep a sketchbook. Um, keep notes, read as much as you can. And if you keep your own book, you know, like, don't worry, nobody has to look at it. No one's going to be checking anything. That's your book for you just to do what you want in it. So have fun, write stories, do lots of creating. I know you can. And I can't wait to see them. Bye.